Life life's such a beautiful thing, don't you think? <laughs> if you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe here, like this content, click on the bell, be a part of the notification. Get it. It's snowing out here, guys. A better way to celebrate our first winter, I guess. <laughs> our first winter with Shaolong Bao or steam soup dumplings. Let me show you how I make it, guys. <laughs> it's easy, simple recipe. So I got four quarts of water boiling away right now. I got one pork foot. Ow, 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 ow. Don't do what I did. <laughs> our aromatic, so I got one ginger charring up with one onion charring up. As I char up, guys, I got one stalk of green onion to this stalk, half a cup of Chinese cooking wine. Once I got this slightly charred, everybody into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. Thing to this now, guys, we're just gonna boil this for three hours. So this is pretty much our soup dumpling base for our soup in our dumpling. Does that make sense? <laughs> this boils away, guys. You're gonna see some impurities floating to the top. We're just gonna take our strainer and strain it off, guys. Our filling. So I got two pounds of ground pork here. I got a pound of baby shrimp here, which I'm just gonna roughly chop. I don't wanna chop them too much because I want some bites of shrimp in my soup dumplings. Toss them in. Next, guys, I got some water chestnut, maybe just a small handful of it. Just gonna chop it up. Water chestnut does not have much of a flavor. Just gives it that nice little crunch. That I like. She got that nice and chopped. I'm just gonna throw it in. Got some green onion. Toss it in as well. To this, tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of fish sauce, and I got a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper. Take your beautiful clean hand, get into it, guys. I wanna mix it really good. Let it marinate for the time being. Let's make our wrapper. So three cups of flour, pinch of salt, nothing to this now. I got one cup of hot water added in. Add in slowly while mixing guys. Is it burning my fingers? Yes. <laughs> Looks like we're at this part of the video again guys where this table will not break. <laughs> one day guys, this table will break. If this table breaks today, guys, it will go down in history that I made the best soup dumpling wrapper I can possibly make. It's not gonna break, guys. <laughs> There's nothing to it, guys. We're just pretty much kneading this until smooth. Once you guys need this and it does not look that promising, just keep kneading guys, I promise you, it's gonna get smooth. <laughs> I think that's a lot of times with a lot of things when you're working with dough or yeast or anything. Just that patient. Not a lot of people have that patient. That patient just for it to rise, that patient for it just to get smooth. But just have patience and just believe guys. Words of wisdom. And anything you do in life, just have patience, guys. Best workout ever. My right arm is always gonna be bigger than my left one, just because I need dough, guys. I need dough. <laughs> Once dough has been smoothing out, we're just gonna let this dough rest for 10 minutes, guys. Stock's been going on for two hours already, guys. I'm gonna take one teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna add it in, guys. Three hours up, guys. I'm gonna strain this broth. I'm gonna strain this broth again because I want a very nice clear broth at the end. Into this now, guys, we just gotta let this broth cool down and turn into jello. 
what better way to do this is by allowing it to cool outside in Canada here. Guys, you gotta love Canada. <laughs> Pretty much playing the waiting game. So we gotta let that gelatin up before we make our dumplings. I'm just gonna take this time right now, guys, while we're waiting, just to give a shout out to my fans down in China there, watching at Billy Billy, QT Gang, that is me, guys. If you guys are not watching under QT Gang on Billy Billy platform, that ain't me. Please do report that I'm pasta. Three hours later, we got our gelatin pork broth. We're gonna take our knife, we're gonna cut jello squares. Forget the squares, guys. Just chop it up. Take our soup dumpling scooper outer. I'm just gonna pour it all in, guys. Take our beautiful hand and get it in there, guys. All right, let's roll out some soup dumplings. Time for the hardest part of this dish. Oh, my dough's a little sticky. So I'm just gonna add a little more flour to this dough and knead it out. Watch closely, guys. Cry chop. It's so beautiful, guys. <laughs> so I got one of the pieces I chopped up. I'm gonna roll it out into a log. I'm gonna say this, guys. Again, this is probably the hardest part you guys will ever, ever do in your whole entire life. I promise. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. So once I got this nice and rolled out into a log, I'm gonna cry chop this into even pieces. I don't know how I do it, guys, but it always gets done like that. I'm gonna take one of my cut piece, I'm gonna flatten it out. I'm gonna oil this roller here just a tad bit. I'm gonna start rolling it out. So I want this to be as thin as possible, guys. So we take our wrapper, we take our filling, just add a bit in there, guys. Don't add a lot. In the end, you gotta figure out that you add too much or too less, but just take it out if you did add too much. So, so we're gonna pinch one end, and we're gonna pinch the other end, just like that. And we're gonna go all around until it crimps. All right, it ended up being a very tiny zoom dumpling. But, guys, mark me on this. A plus or A minus. <laughs> All right guys, not your best looking Shaolong Bao, but I guarantee you, I need work, I know, I know, but I guarantee you the taste is there. So, we got our steamer steaming away. I just got some cabbage there because I forgot to pick up parchment paper. So I'm just gonna place this in and we're just gonna cook this for about six to eight minutes guys. I think they look pretty good. <laughs> so lid on, six to eight minutes steaming. As we wait for that to steam up, I wanna make our dipping sauce. So I got a bit of ginger there, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar. Eight minutes up, your Shaolong Bao complete. Come on over. All right guys, let's get into this guys. I'll say by far the longest wrapping progress I ever did in my whole entire life guys. Guys, take a bite of that. Quick time. I'm starving. Yes, got it. Nice. Just a small bite though. Because we want to release all that soup. Well, hopefully there's still soup in there. There's no soup. <laughs> well, there's some soup. It's not a lot of soup. Might have dried up. But guys, take a bite of that. Quick time. Yes, got it. Nice. We'll save that soup for later. I'm gonna dip it into our ginger soy and vinegar. Mmm. Wow. Just one bad thing. Barely any soup. That's a good base soup though. And I was worried about this. The top piece being too tough. Or not tough, but too much dough on the top there. So I pretty much still gotta work on this. So give me a chance guys. <laughs> First attempt. I'm gonna show how much soup this in. There's some soup. Next time for sure I will just leave probably half of the portion of the soup out. And as I make the dumpling, I will just manually add in the soup. But guys, take a sip of this soup here. That's got it. Nice. That's such an awesome soup guys. Holy. Guys, another bite of this. Quick time. Yes, got it. Nice. Wow. That's so bomb. I want to find a, a soupy one. This right here feels a little soupy. 
Mm -hmm. Ready for the soup? Not too bad. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely. There's too much dough on top there. I definitely, I definitely need to work on mastering this dish. <laughs> Still a lot of soup, guys. Still some soup, I'd say. Wow. So bombs. This just reminds me of a bun bao or a steam. Yeah. Steam bun. Mmm. You see that soup? Mmm. I can easily just pick this up and just eat it. That's why I like. It ain't that hot no more. Just because thumbnail and filming. Wow. Mm. Not bad. Not bad for the first time. Wow. Too much dough on the top, I don't like it. I just want the bottom piece. Mm -hmm. Way too much dough. The hardest dish I ever made, ever. I will master this dish. Life's such a beautiful thing, don't you think? Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your food and life's a beautiful thing. Shirts, like, shirts. Peace out.